America is on the cusp of a new golden age, but we will have the courage to seize it. We're going to take it. We're going to make it a current. I mean, we're going to bring this into a golden age like never seen before. Remember this. China wants to do it. Japan wants to do it. All of these countries want to do it. We have to produce massive amounts of energy if we're going to produce the new. If you look at some of the things that have been done and some of the things that we're going to do, but AI needs tremendous, trem literally twice the electricity that's available now in our country. Can you imagine? But instead, we're spending places where they recharge electric cars. They built eight chargers at a certain location toward the Midwest. Eight chargers for $9 billion. Think of them as a tank for filling up your gas. Think of it. They spent $9 billion on eight charges, three of which didn't work. And if you were going to do this all over our country, this crazy electric mandate, if you're going to do this all — and by the way, I'm all for electric. They have their application. But if somebody wants to buy a gas-powered car, gasoline-powered car, or a hybrid, they're going to be able to do it. And we're going to make that change on day one. So to conclude, just a few short days ago, my journey with you nearly ended. We know that. And yet, here we are tonight, all gathered together, talking about the future promise and a total renewal of a thing we love very much. It's called America. We live in a world of miracles. None of us knows God's plan or where life's adventure will take us. I want to thank Franklin Graham for being here tonight. He's an outstanding man. He wrote me a note recently. I have a lot of respect for him. Sir, I love your storytelling. I think it's great in front of these big rallies. But, sir, please do me one favor. It won't make any difference. Please don't use any foul language. I was a little embarrassed. I said, he said, it won't make any difference. Actually, it does. The story's not quite as good, but I've been very good. The story is not quite as good, to be honest. I've got to have a little talk with Franklin, but he was great. He's a great gentleman. His father was so incredible, Billy Graham. My father used to love taking me to see Billy Graham. My father would take me to see Billy Graham at Yankee Stadium. He had the biggest rallies you've ever seen. He was a good rally guy, too. But he'd get up, and he was a fantastic guy. My father loved Billy Graham. But I love Franklin Graham. I think Franklin's been fantastic. And I'm trying. I'm working so hard to adhere to his note to me. I'm working hard on it, Franklin. But if the events of last Saturday make anything clear, it is that every single moment we have on Earth is a gift from God. We have to make the most of every day for the people and for the country that we love. The attacker in Pennsylvania wanted to stop our movement, but the truth is the movement has never been about me. It has always been about you. It's your movement. It's the biggest movement in the history of our country by far. Can't be stopped. It can't be stopped. It has always been about the hardworking, patriotic citizens of America. For too long, our nation has settled for too little. We settled for too little. We've given everything to other nations, to other people. You've been told to lower your expectations and to accept less for your families. I am here tonight with the opposite message. Your expectations are not big enough. They're not big enough. It is time to start expecting and demanding the best leadership in the world, leadership that is bold, dynamic, relentless, and fearless. We can do that. We are Americans. Ambition is our heritage. Greatness is our birthright. But as long as our energies are spent fighting each other, our destiny will remain out of reach. 
and that's not acceptable. We must instead take that energy and use it to realize our country's true potential and write our own thrilling chapter of the American story. We can do it together. We will unite. We are going to come together, and success will bring us together.